Well, here we are again. Here we are again. Let's take these out. Can't hear when they're in. I'm not feeling, for some reason, I've been right. Turn that bloody light on, Vernon. For some reason, I'm feeling right excited about being here today. So if you want to keep on watching this excitement, yeah, whilst I'm fishing, stay tuned and keep watching. That went right. I didn't. I've got to do this again. Well, here we are again, fishing again, and uh, we're here on the umber. We're going to uh, give it another go. It's only two nights since the last time I was there. We're at the same mark. We're giving it a second go because we blanked the last time. I am not giving in. And uh, there's got to be some good flounders there. There has to be. Down at Low Bays, on the, not far away from Bay 10, or if not 11. So, uh, got the light on, what's going on today? I don't know what's happening. Don't know what's happening. So, I've been excited about coming fishing all day. Let's turn it. I've been excited about coming fishing all day and it was gonna come yesterday. Um, that would have been a disaster because even today I haven't got everything charged up. But, we're here fishing today. It is the same spot as where I was fishing in the last video last week. So, I'm not giving up. Um, I can fish it tonight. I could have fished it tomorrow, but I think it's going to rain tomorrow. But next month, I'm going to be fishing it again. So, you got to give these things a shot. It's I must have a chance of catching a fish here. There has to be some flounder here. There's got to be something there, or the odd whiten. But they have a long way to travel. So, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, and that's what I'm doing. But I've been excited about coming all day. And then when I get here, and I've just had a chat with John, I strike up the camera after setting it all manually, like I have to every time GoPro. Um, and then I just sort of like go, Phew. it's as though all the anticipation of coming here to fish is all building up. And then as soon as you start the camera and strike the camera and set it all and everything, and then start your piece um i just went <sighs> so i cocked the cocked the intro up um i normally if i cock the intro up i normally take it off and then do another intro it only happens very rarely and this time i haven't so it's on there so tom will probably put that on as a giggle i don't know we'll have to wait and see I need to move my rods further away because they are closer to the van than they was two days ago. Today is Wednesday the 14th of February. Some would say it's Valentine's Day. Um, which it is, you know, since Roman times when uh, people used to run off and get married or whatever. Well, that's a Google search or a search in a encyclopedia find that out right so that's all that set up all I've got to do is jump over and get a bucket of water when the tide is in I've got two ladders tonight to enable me to climb over the wall I don't know if I've got them in the right place but I've got them there or thereabouts. Um, I've poured a coffee actually, haven't I? Let's have this bloody coffee. Ugh. I had to fight the lid to undo it. So it's Wednesday again, I'm fishing another Wednesday. Um, I will try and answer some of the comments, but I am fishing and it'll be hard so uh, it's just the way it is 
Uh, that's why probably why I tried to go last night so I could have come um I have watched the video. Um the video that tonight, this Wednesday, I was chuckling about an hour and a half in and then there was a segment where I repeated myself twice and then repeated myself again but named a load of other bait tackle shops and stuff that are in the area. Um apologise if I missed anyone, nothing intended there. Um, and I've learned a lesson from that because I was like bloody hell and yeah I don't know probably should have been chopped out probably should have been chopped out but then what do you chop out you could chop something out that's that's that should be left in don't you because the way I talk through my videos if you cut one bit out it won't relate to something else so it's it's a th thing isn't it so what I'm going to try and do is in my head once it's discussed that's it now that wouldn't happen all the time but it, not not for the length of time that was but I hope you enjoy that video my videos are long they are what they are but I am tempted to do a video and get it chopped and chopped and chopped so it's like boom 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 and it's uh fast paced and on the go but I don't know last couple of videos I've only used two batteries so that's good because I normally use three sometimes four um, it could be due with the cold but yeah it'd be nice to use two batteries and maybe put a third in to finish the video off not use it all so I don't really want to do videos that are over two hours unless there's 200 fish in it but yeah anyway I apologise for that repeat myself three times and it was for a duration as well that was the thing anyhow let's see what we catch tonight I've got to now get my mojo back because my mojo's upped and gone so I'm going to have this coffee I'm going to untangle that bloody weight that's gone round that line and separate my rigs Ah, that's because I've just moved the tripod, isn't it? Pillock. So, I'll untangle that, get it ready. Bait's on the fore, so that's good. The tide is filling up. It's not in at the wall yet. I think I've got probably, probably got another 20 to 30 minutes. Now, when I went past, there's not many people fishing up the top. I saw one car, unless there was vehicles there that weren't, um, didn't have the lights on or anything, but I couldn't see nothing. But from bay 21 down to 17 and full. Um, and bay 20, he was already fishing. He jumped over the wall and he was fishing. And bay 19, I think he was fishing because the water will be in there as well. They come in at the same time, 20 and 19. 18 comes in at about 20 to half an hour later. And then down there, probably about 7 o'clock, actually. And it's now 18.22, so I might be able to get a line in over there. But it's dark, you see. I don't know. If I'll be able to see where I'm casting. But we'll give it a whirl. There's nothing else to do, is there? Um, I've got my reels on, lines through, rigs are on, weights on. It's just bait up now, isn't it? Get my Army Tech torch out. I've put, got my Fem Fenix torch because it was in the top of the box and I'd just grab it. My bag was at the other end of the van. Oh, made a coffee in this flask this morning at work, for work. It was too milky, I couldn't drink it. I put five coffees in, and five slugs of milk, and I mean slugs, but a couple of them are a bit big. So, I put in seven spoons of coffee, and five slugs of milk, and that tastes nice. I do like my coffee bitter, and if it ain't bitter, 
So my my mouth all round my gums is bitter. It's lovely. But you don't want to know about me and coffee, do you? And what I've done today. What have I done today? I actually got up and didn't have to go to uh, my, my first job. I actually went, got up and went straight to the house and started painting. Corking, filling, removal of bits and bobs I've missed, and painting. Now, it's all virtually painted. All I've got to do now is paint the cupboard toilet upstairs. That's how small it is. Pain in the ass. Give that a fourth coat, and hopefully it'll cover the purple paint underneath. Um, paint the kitchen with vinyl paint, and then start painting the bathroom with vinyl paint and sorting the ceiling out in there. And then I'm ready for rollering, which probably will be Monday. So the house is coming on all right. Valentine's Day, pancake day yesterday. We didn't have pancakes because the wife's poorly. She's full of snotty cold. And today's the first day, as she put it, I'm a bit drier. Well, I hope she ain't too dry. That's not good for you. But hopefully the cold is receding. So she hasn't been too bad. She's cooked every day, so that's good. And we had sausages in the air fryer. Now, I think the temperature was a bit high because they were very brown on the outside but the sausage itself was cooked perfect again it was succulent I, I've never had a sausage from my wife they're always hard but I enjoy them but in the oven they're always sticky on the outside because she cooks them in oil and keeps turning them but it takes like over an hour to cook them the air fryer is done in 10 minutes 10 minutes quarter an hour so why am I talking to you about my air fryer and temperatures and how they're cooked? Wife cooked um, chicken breasts in the air fryer the other day and they were the best chicken breasts she's ever cooked in her life. They weren't dry. I didn't realise you could have chicken that was moist. It was absolutely, it had a sauce on it, but they were absolutely lovely. Soft, succulent and moist. But she cooked um, some chicken thighs and drumsticks in. She cooked them in this spices and stuff. Oh, they're lovely, in the oven. She did them in the air fryer. And they were cooked to, per per to perfection, really. Red hot, perfection, soft. I didn't like them, they were horrible. So I put mine in again for another 15 minutes. And uh, they were still horrible. I like, I've got so used to my missus cooking drumsticks coated in stuff on a grill pan in the oven for the fat to drip out and I get them served up and they're like cardboard and, and that's how I like my chicken thigh. So she actually cooked something perfect and it was horrible. But the chicken breasts, they're cracking. Sausages are nice, we've just got to turn the heat down I think a little bit because I think they were cooked perfect but too much on the outside. Why am I talking about air fry cooking? Anyhow, it's 14th today, Valentine's Day, and I, I ain't done anything with the wife, literally, and because she's full of snotty cold, and I've been at work working, so I've come out fishing tonight because tomorrow it gives rain. It's rained today, but it's not going to rain anymore tonight. Well, it they forecast rain at 11, but will that? Just have to wait and see if that happens. But I'll be packing up by about then. So a bit of rain at the end of the man. Anyhow, I think this is enough rattling on because from what I watched today, I thought I've rattled on too much. But at the beginning of tonight's video, I really enjoyed the first hour and a half. The rest of it was all right, you know, but I was laughing, I was chuckling. I was, uh, I thought, it was, I thought it was quite good. But then, some people like some videos, don't they? And other people like other videos, don't they? It depends. That that video was right for me, so I'm gonna sit here, hopefully pull some of that bait apart and get it defrosted, and get baited up, and I'll be back in a bit. Wish me luck. 
I just want to catch a fish. I don't bother what it is. Could be a five pound haddock or a five pound cod. But I'll be quite happy catching a flounder. And I ain't bothered on the size. Just want a fish to make it worthwhile. See you in a bit. Right. I've got a torch on my cutting board looking out there so I can see where to cast. And there's bats flying around. Quite a lot of them. Got to hit the water. Oh, hit. Yes, perfect. Absolutely perfect. nailed it that was good wasn't it I um, over here I've got my torch and I've got it propped on the lug worm aiming into the channel and I casted it the hit went and you went sort of oh, like that and you know and that's just another red thump when I'm round air like this, I have to get my leg there ready so that when I come round, it ain't so bad. And it ain't so bad, but sometimes it does give me a bit of jip. And all that, what you're putting into it to them good bang, you forget it all and the cast goes wrong and that's what happens. It's just the way I'm built. I'm a useless, feckless idiot. But I'll tell you something, I've casted that right into that water there. Spot on, and it went further than last. Yes, uh, two days ago. Right, that's took the slack up. Shouldn't get any tidal pull on that there because it's in there out of the way. I don't know where the water is. I think it's coming in. I can see it over there. That's the best place to look because I've got light, and I can see down there, but I can't see right in front of me because it's pitch black. Because I've got the lights on that there, and the lights from up there down there. So I can air it, so it is coming in. I am still luggy in my left ear. Um, I will go to the doctors and have a look. But, well, doctors, that's the thing, isn't it? I have got now my, the doctors have contacted me. So I had to make the appointment, well, I went down and got seen for my x-ray I had the x-ray you go down and so I've had that and then I got contacted yesterday to make an appointment with my doctor a telephone appointment so you you know these doctors yes yeah, very hard to see one actually isn't it I don't think Brett has even seen a doctor yet it's all been over the telephone it's absolute shite. Um, but that's what it is. And if you don't abide by it, then you don't get seen, do you? But we have a fantastic health service because of that, don't we? It's absolutely astounding. So everything just gets built up. You know, I've got buggered ankles, which I, there's nothing I can do about that because an operation will just balls it up totally. I've got a sore knee, which is probably due to my sore hip. Um, I've probably got a hernia. I don't I think I have got a hernia. And I've got this bloody air problem, which is really doing me head in. There is a couple of other things as well, but there you go. I ain't talking about that. So, you know, and it ain't just me, is it? It's not me, me, me. You see people on the news and people, you meet people and they've got like four or five things that are building up where they're not getting seen by doctors, are they? Or getting it addressed because these things just stack up as you get older and it's harder to get into the doctors in it, let's be honest. Because you only get to see a nurse. So if you get if you get past this receptionist, that's, that's a great big task. And then you have to get past the nurse to have any possibility, I think, at my surgery of seeing a doctor. 
but there you go so I've got to make this appointment I've got seven days so we're doing it tomorrow when I come home from work because Karen will be better she's got to do it because last time I cocked it up so um, I can hear the water coming in now the problem is if I cast out you all will happen is is the lead will just bury itself in the mud it's over there it's amazing how it comes in it just literally just rolls in as though like tumble and weed you know like that tumbleweed that you get in America this is me scaredy cat torch this is this is the torch that I use if I hear something I'm like this and if you see two red eyes looking back at you, you just hope it's a fox or a badger. Anything bigger than that, do what now? Have to get me hitting stick out, wanna? <laughs> it's absolutely lovely down here. It's quiet, peaceful. It's lovely. I knew it was all down here, but I'd never thought about fishing it. And then I saw these huge tides and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do it. Now, I did arrange to fish here with someone, but they just haven't contacted me. And I arranged it when we were both looking at it and said, right, well, we'll do it in this week. But I think they're all loved up. Do you know what I mean? All loved up and uh, enjoying life. But I'm here. I'm not on the sofa. I'm here raising it with this cold weather but it's about 12 degrees tonight which is good because you'll be pleased to hear this I forgot my electric coat so I'm not going to go on about it the only thing I may say is I forgot my electric coat but it's not cold I've got my thermals on my mustard top this top and I've got my coat so I'll be all right I haven't even put my boots on yet but I'm gonna anyhow in 10 minutes, quarter an hour, I should chuck the second rod out because I'll be able to get that out because I can't chuck it in the channel because if I do, I'm going to get tangled up and we don't want that, do we? I've brought prawns tonight to try prawns as well. And I've bought a shrimp net as well. I've bought a shrimp net. That should be coming tomorrow. So hopefully, I'll be able to, when I'm at a mark like this or somewhere else on the umber, I'll be able to put a bit of mackerel in or something like that chuck it out and hopefully get some shrimp because that is a killer bait see you in a bit Hang on a sec. right i've uh baited up the two at flat but with uh black lug they're really small but a little bit of black lug and squid and i'm going to chuck it straight out we've got the water in i've probably got a foot foot of water depth here so it's probably it'll be a foot of water out there as well but hopefully it won't go too far in the mud. Right, so that's both lines out now. Time is <coughs> sit rep, sit rep. Thank you, Brett. Uh, I think it's quarter past seven, seven fourteen. So my video has been live for fourteen minutes. So hopefully I've got three hundred views. I've got an extra thousand subscribers. And while we're on that, don't forget to click subscribe. Drop us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and if you don't want to do any of that, or you've watched it for 30 seconds and think he's a bloody idiot, thank you for the view. But that's both rods out. We're over there and over there. And we've got the same bait on both. I've got some prawn that is uh, defrosting. 
so we're going to try a bit of prawn and uh, like I say I've bought a shrimp net so that when I come fishing now and I'm at the right places I can try and catch some shrimp to get some live bait and whatever don't make it will just go in my freezer because I've used shrimp um, before and it's a kraken bait because that's what the fish are looking for so hopefully I might catch some of them so that's both rods out I'll keep watching them I'm gonna have another coffee I'm talking to Brett now he's been very good for being quiet and not putting me off my stride and uh, let's keep watching these rod tips because once they start going off hopefully it'll be shooting away and we'll get it so see you in a bit Yeah, I've been meaning to have a Uber teeny now for months, probably since November. And I still Yeah, I still haven't had one. And I said to Karen at the weekend, she says, Do we need any milk? And I says, eh, we've got three pints in the fridge. I said, but get two. She said, Well, I won't get two. I said, No, get two and I'll drink some and I'll make sure I can have an Uber teeny then, can't I? And uh, I've now finished off the four pints of milk which was free um, and all we got left in the fridge is two pints so and I still haven't had an Ubertini well because I've drunk a pint out of it that's why alright mate how about you yeah, I've only just hey, about it I've only just discovered about this walkway just recently, brother. Oh, right. Well, and when I say, from yeah, Grimsby will say that I actually walk, don't. Right? Yeah, not really. I'm right, little walker. And you know what? I'm a little bit annoyed that I've only just found out about this because oh, yeah. I've been taking a little walk. But you used to go all the way to East Helton, but they've put the, the ports there now, so you okay. can't get all the way there. Where actually. the ports are, I'm guessing there's a little access there just to go and have a little look around. Like, not to go actually go on the ports, but just oh, like, you can. Sad, like, can sneak on the pair. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to have a walk on it, but be careful. Yeah, man. Why, why is that then? Might get a slap on the back of the wrist. No, no, it's all rotten, isn't it? And then it looks like, mate. Any no, nothing. Really. No, nothing. Yep, man. Nothing uh, new. Have you, I'm guessing every now and then you do take a little boat out there. Oh, did you no, get? The, did you don't get the chance to. No. no would, no, would you if you did, mate? Yeah. Would you if you did? No, I don't like it. Do you not now? You're like, are oh, you really? Yeah. Stay on the ground and catch yeah, it from there. So, dude, what was your name again? Vernon. Vernon, it's good to meet our master, yeah. mate. Take care of yourself, buddy. Enjoy your walk. Thank you, buddy. If you're still on the other way back, mate, I might see you on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> I could hear the music first. Well, there's nothing happening on these rods, is there? Uh, that was Matthew. He's a right little walker, he said, because he loves to walk, and he's only just found this walkway along this river wall, but... You can't even see him walking down there now, and he's got red trousers on. But you wouldn't see him, would you? Because once it goes, oh, let's not get into all that, but colours disappear the further you get away. So you could be on a mountaintop in a yellow coat or a red coat, thinking, why can't they see me? Well, that's because you're too far away. But he's off for a walk down there, and uh, yeah, he's going to come back later on. So I'm looking forward to that. Talk about shit me up, that did. I can hear the music, and then suddenly someone walking towards me, and I'm thinking, oh, no. <laughs> but these rods aren't moving. The rod closest to me, thought it was tapping a little bit, but. Now I've got my mate, Les, he's fishing down on Bay 16, so I drove past him, didn't 
didn't recognise him. Just drove straight past. He's fishing at 16. Mind you, he might not have been in there then. I don't. I can't remember if there was someone in 16 or not. But he's at 16, so I shall message him through the night and see if he's caught out. But this rod closest to me keeps going up and down a little bit, but it could be the tide. Could be the wind. But it's a nice still night again. Um, there's a little bit of wind gusts, probably about 10 miles an hour, nothing major. But it seems to be less than when I got here, so. Let's hope that rain don't come at 11 o'clock either. Be nice to get my fishing done get my gear packed away, um, tot up all the fish that I've caught, all 20 hundred of them, and uh, if it starts raining on the way home, brilliant. Going to be a late night, then I'll get them, um, probably have a gin and tonic with rhubarb and ginger, and uh, hopefully get in bed. The wife ain't well, as you know. So every time the wife's not well, she has to sleep in flipping bed with two pillars. Well, I tell you, that does my head in because if you've got a water bed, you'll know, you'll know. But in a water bed, you only need one pillar. Because you sink in the water, one pillar's enough. But two pillars, you might as well be sat up in the bed vertical. And that's what it's like when she slept next to you. So I keep banging my head into the pillar you know, and it's not good when you're banging your head into the pillar, is it? So, what are you laughing at? So anyhow, I keep banging my head into the pillar because she's got bloody two of them. So, <coughs> I have to get on the other side of the bed to keep away from her. Does my head in. But she, I said to her, I said, you're not coughing. So why have, why have you got two pillars? I've got a runny nose. I said, yeah, but it's not running like a tap. She said, and then she coughs, and I, uh, don't take much of a cough, does it, to get two pillars in the bed. But if you've got two pillars in the bed, in a water bed, you sink in it and you're up. So it's, you might, it's terrible. I can't sleep like it. And if I've got a cold coffin and whatever, um, I don't have two pillars, but the wife does. But if that's what she needs, that's what she gets, because, like, that's all that matters. But I do eat two pillars in a waterbed. It does my head in. If I'm coughing in a waterbed, before I get in it, what I do is I put Vicks on the bottom of my feet because I saw that on a YouTube video and they said it'll stop your coughing. So I put the Vicks on the bottom of my feet and then when I walked across the bathroom floor, I nearly ended up in the bath, nearly fell over because it was a bit slippery, but I didn't. I think you're meant to put the Vicks on and put socks on. That's what I think's meant to happen. So there was a lesson learned there, but I ain't done it since. Anyhow, you don't need to know that. I just put the camera on while I was watching the rods to show you the frantic action that I'm having. So uh, that ain't happening. I can't see the rod tips now because I've been looking at these lights. If anybody comes now, um, I won't see them. So uh, I'm gonna stop filming. Keep watching these rods and see you in a bit. Right, let's get this reeled in. This is the first cast out that I had. It's moving a little bit, but it could just be the tide. Now, I need to see where it is, so it's there. So if I'm still there, it's over my bait board. So I need to get it back there. So when I, I don't think I've got anything on there, I just need to get it up so I can get it over. Be nice to have a flounder. I'm up on the top of the water now. It's gone really light. That was out quite a way. So it's a bait check. and I've still got all the bait on.
but uh, are we in shot? I think we are, aren't we? So let's get this took off and put the fresh bait on. See if the prawn's undone, frozen, defrosted. If a prawn is, it is. Let's put a prawn on. Why not? I'll do what a blank air again. And probably, probably, I might blank. My mate, the walker, just come back and he's playing music, so I turned the camera off. Um, it started to spit, I can't believe it. So, coop may be going on very shortly. Um, yeah, it is spitting. So it might be in all night now. But we've got this baited up, let's get this chucked out now. That'll be in the channel. Right, leave that for a few minutes and then we'll tighten up. So now I've got on there two pieces of prawn, which I want to do actually, so I'm pleased I ain't just in the routine of putting lug and everything else on so I'm gonna put the prawns in the bait box now because they're defrosted and some of the other bait and that'll keep it chilled but keep the squid on there um, got some squid for tipping off I've got crab crab as well But yeah, we've got to give it a go, haven't we? I'm not just going to come somewhere and let it beat me. I'm going to keep fishing it. Um, I'm sure you can fish it many other nights, but these, these big tides are the ones. Is there a boot gone past? Yeah. This, these waves here, and they're quite extensive really because they're banging in air and rolling down. Yeah, so he didn't walk all the way down the river. Um, I thought he was going to go all the way to the woods, but he didn't. There's a factory down there on the left. And it's gone quite a while. But when you get to that factory, it just stinks of eggs absolutely stinks of it. Um, it's obviously sulphur or eggs, whatever. So he's turned round and walked back. He said next time he walks along here he's going to bring a mask. But that ain't going to stop the smell getting through a mask. Perhaps there's just a few showers, spits of rain every now and then, I don't know. But it is spitting now, so I'm going to get under here. Um, if it gets any worse, I'll put my coat on. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. But as of yet, no fish. The bait was exactly the same as I put it on. 
black lug tipped with squid and uh, not touched so there's no crabs out there at all not a single crab as there weren't two nights ago all I want is a flounder I just want to catch a fish here so I know there's some fish here and then another day another tide can always be different because every tide is different fish come in fish go don't they if I weren't so busy on an house um, I would have come here every night I would have come here every night and fished and give it my best shot put some e right effort in but I hope it pans out, I hope I catch because I love it here. Absolutely brilliant. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, I'm gonna get this uh, end rod reeled in. Haven't been out long, but I'm gonna get it reeled in. It's bloody rain and I've got my coat on. Don't matter, does it? Thick skinned, thick everywhere else as well. Still on. Well, there's nothing on it yet again, and uh, it's still raining, and the baits are still on it worm and squid. I'm now going to put another worm and a bit of squid on it. The prawn's out on the other rod, we'll see what happened with that. If I get a bite on the prawn, then I'll reel this one back in again and stick prawn on that. A matter of fact, I'll put prawn on the top and I'll put worm on the bottom. So then we're going to edge your bets because I'm chucking it out somewhere different. So that'll uh, tick all the boxes, won't it? So I'll put them back in my ice box. Today, because down there, while I'm fishing, I could chuck the shrimp net in and get some proper shrimp from this from this river. Because the fish, I've been told from my mate, that he's had a cod and he gutted it, and it was full of shrimp. And you know that's what they eat. So. Yeah. Well. I'm going to try and catch some, use it if I can while I've got it and um, what I don't use I'll freeze and then just take it out and use it because I was catching on that, the stuff that Scott gave me um, and other people weren't catching and I was. Right I've got on there on my two up flapper, I've uh, just put on two bits of prawn so we've got prawn on both but I'm sending that out that way so let's just check I'm in frame. Tom will say you bloody are, you're always in frame. Anyhow, let's get this chuck out. Oh, 
love these reels. I said I love these reels. Now I only use them for the beach. Right, so that's it. Just casted that out. I've cast it straight out. So I've got one to the right, one straight out. Um, I'm using six ounce fin weights because there ain't much tide run. Um, and we've got prawn on both flappers. We've got size two hooks. Need to catch a fish. That's what we need to do. <coughs> Once I've caught a fish, I'm going to put a pulley rig on and I might put carton squid on. I might not. But it's all about fishing, isn't it? Catching is a bonus. Um, I wanted to come tonight, big tide, wanted to give it another go. And the next time I can do it will be in a few weeks time. So, and I shall do, I shall be back again because at some point I'm gonna catch. Now the water isn't as murky down here for some reason, because when I get the water in the bucket, it's not like Bisto gravy. You can actually see through it down into the water a bit and then the longer that bucket there the more it clears out whereas further up the river the water stays murky the whole time so maybe that's a but it's dark so it shouldn't have any effect should it but I'll keep watching these rod tips and I'll see you in a minute all right well I'm watching these rods and uh, it's like watching paint dry but that's fishing me mate in bay right up there in the distance up there he's fishing and he ain't had anything either because if he'd had something by now I think he'd have messaged me so Right, his mate is in bay 17. So he's in, my mate's in 16, his mate is in 17, and he's just had a whiten. So the time is, quick sit rep, sit rep, it's 20.56. So we are, we are, um, oh, what was the tide time? We're about 10 minutes off high water. Now you never know, the fish could come on, couldn't they, on the ebb. I think, fingers crossed, it might happen. Because what else are the fish doing? They ain't at a fish hotel, are they? They aren't, they aren't down the pub having a drink, are they? They aren't in the bookies. Don't think fish have bookies, do they? Now, they might be doing a lot of humping. You know, they could be doing that, couldn't they? Because that's all fish do, isn't it? Eat and hump. And run away from bigger fish. Well, they could just sort of like stop by on, on the way, couldn't they? To doing a bit of humping and a bit of eating and eat at my hooks, couldn't they? For all I care, for all I care, they could be humping on me hooks. Right, I'll be back in a minute, ask the wife. Well, slack water has now gone. We've just had a rush of water coming past, a lot of waves, there's no boats out there. And that's the water's stopped coming in, holding that up, and it starts to flow out. And then all of a sudden, all that water upstream 
comes hammering down and you get all these crashing waves and then it calms down so I'm watching these rod tips we've still got the prawns all out um, Oh dear. It is hard when there isn't much happening. I remember on Monday when we were here and I had that bite and it like rejuvenates you when you get a bite. It doesn't just rejuvenate you, it rejuvenates you. That's how it makes you feel. Um, but... I ain't had one of them yet. Now I've tried black lug and squid and we're on the prawn. Might just try squid next. But you'd think, I mean they were fresh prawns. They weren't, well they're frozen now. Well they were frozen. They just defrosted them. But they were frozen, I froze them from fresh. I can't remember the last time I ate a prawn, apart from in a Chinese curry. But um, <laughs> which was probably about two weeks ago. <laughs> that was all right, weren't brilliant. See, what annoys me with Chinese shops, yeah, is I always want a shrimp curry because shrimps are nice and sweet and they're small and they're not chewy, they're just lovely. And we always get bloody prawns, but they aren't just ordinary prawns, are they? No, they've got to be them great big king prawns. And because they cook them first, and then it's just reheated up, which I can understand, it is a rest, it is a takeaway. They're like bullets, aren't they? You can cut into one of them prawns, and if you don't cut into it right, it can go bouncing off all the walls around the front room and take your wife's head off. I haven't managed to do it yet, though. But yeah, it's just not, if they only bloody cooked them there and then, but then they wouldn't, would they? Because shrimp as well. God, that takes some peeling, doesn't they? There's a few flies about tonight. There was bats earlier when I first come here. There was bats flying around. Um, obviously getting all these flies, but what happens is they all come in my van and then tonight when I park up, the alarm will be going off all night. I've never known a place where your rods are so static. <laughs> I really am, but ah, oh, it's a lovely place. And this is what it's about. It's about fishing, because that's what we do primarily is fish. So this is what fishing is. I turn up, I get the tripod out, put the rods on, get it all tackled up, baited up and cast out. And that's called fishing. And uh, that catching business, which sometimes happens in between casts, that's a bonus. And you can only go to places and fish. You can't go to places and catch unless you've got a fish finder. And then you're pretty much guaranteed, aren't you? But yeah, you find these pluck marks, don't you? And you think, I'm gonna give it a go. And all you can do is give it a go. And that's the fun bit about it for me. I've got another mark long here I'm gonna do next lot of tides 
I might fish this one again. Well, I will. I will do. But I ain't going to do two sessions down here. I'm going to do one down here and one somewhere else. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish all the way along here. So that when there's... When it's busy down here and I've got the right tide, I know I can go somewhere else. I'm going to go further north up the river. Um, but I'm not going further south. But it's cracking night. Clouds are gone now, really. Um, that, what you can see going across the sky is coming out of them chimneys. Because we've got two... I think we've got a power station, one of them. And I think another one's burning litter, which is probably making power anyhow, I don't know. But all that vapour in the sky, they aren't clouds, that's from the chimneys. So apart from that, it'd be a clear sky. Well, clear-ish. I can't see no stars, so I think the cloud cover's quite high up. Oh, stop listening to me rattle on. All we want is a fish. You never know, dear. It could happen. See, so much's happening on that right-hand rod now, but it could just be the tide. Could now be tightening up the lines because the tide's going out. I'm not getting much movement on my lines at all. Where I've cast them is where they virtually stay. Um, and I've only got fin weights on. They're six ounce fin weights um, with one gripper wire. So there's two wires on it, but not like your normal SKMs or breakaways with four grips these are only got two now both rods are tapped now I've got both Cobras tonight I'm fishing with my Vaselli Cobra KWs both same um, with my pen spin fisher live liner reels um, I've bought two new spills for the spin fisher live liner reels as well so I'm gonna, I bought some Trabuku line, which is 66 pound Brayton strain. I think it's a 0.45 line. And I'm gonna spool it up on the new spools. And that's gonna be my fish in the river, if there's loads of weed. Cause I only have red thump in a river, especially down at Galston. Cause if you do anything else, you'll cast over the river. And it's gonna be so that if there's any weed, it'll just drop straight down to my rig body, which means I'll always be able to reel the line in with no weed round the reel, and then just cut the swivel off, drag the weed off, retie, and I'm back in business. So I've bought two new spills for a purpose, because I really do like them reels. They are now my river reels. Um, I shan't use any other reel, which is a shame because my um, spin fisher long cast reels I doubt if I'll ever use them very much again because I might do the odd time but if I go on the beach I'm multipliers up through and through so I may end up using them as I get older I don't know I sh certainly shan't get rid of them because they're beautiful reels and I look after them they'll last many years the only time um, I'll replace those reels now is if I can't fix them and I send them off to a reel repair centre and they can't fix them so that'll be the only time I buy a new reel now there's a bit of movement on the rod closest but nothing to speak of but then on Monday in the last video I had a right pull down bite twice and I thought, geez, I've got a fish, I've got a fish, and Dad, nothing. Do what a blank again for you. Thank you to all the subscribers that I've got. Um, old and new. I'll tell you where I am if I've got internet. I don't seem to have internet here. 487 views in two hours. That's good. That's tonight's video. Chuff with that. Thank you very much, everyone that's viewed it tonight on Wednesday. I'm still at the same subscribers as I was this morning. I'm on... Uh, uh, we do want to talk about subscribers, do we? Because, you know, someone might make ish, take issue with it. You see, I talk about whatever comes into my mind. And uh, sometimes I hold it back because it might be politically incorrect. But apart from that, or politics, definitely religion. Can't talk about that. 
there's not a lot you can talk about now because whatever you talk about even if it's just a a thought a reason or your opinion that's it something's got to be done with this world ain't it because there's the thought police of whatever you want to call them that are trying to change everybody in this land but what they don't realize is that they're a minority and eventually the majority will stand up against them and it'll change it won't happen as they're finding out with the farmers now i saw a news report that the far farmers had won and the eu was backing down but then by the next day there was more farmers kicking off they were kicking off in spain they're kicking off in ireland they're kicking off in england now who'd have thought and in wales they're just trying to change everything and uh, it weren't bad in the 70s and 80s so why can't we just stay as we were that's my view anyway how do i get onto this I don't even know what I was talking about before. And I'll tell you something else, yeah. I said to the wife, I've already spoken to her. Now, the wife has made my sandwiches, and I appreciate it. But I did say, I do not want three sandwiches. I only want two. And she went, okay. I said, don't put three sandwiches in that bag. I just want two, all right? And the other, if you've done a third, put it in the fridge. Yeah, okay. I opened my sandwich bag up, and I got three sandwiches. So I just said to her on the phone, you put three sandwiches in after I said two. Because she don't listen. Oh, well, I ain't bothered I got three sandwiches, apart from one could be cool in the fridge. But it's just I talk and she don't listen. Why you no listen? That's what I say. It's not good. like we're on two different pages until we come together and then we're on the same page oh let's not get into that let's not get into that right well I'm gonna watch these rods because I want a tug if I don't get a tug on this in a minute I'm gonna be foaming at the mouth I'll tell you that for nothing so the next one I'm going to pull off, pull in, sorry. Next one I'm going to pull in will be the right hand rod. And uh, I think I'm going to get my squid out or use that squid and bait up the squid, cook, just squid on it. I've never known it as quiet as this. It's just nothing. Now, I know what you're going to be saying in the comments. You're fishing there again, Vernon. There's nothing down there. Well, there probably isn't. But unless I fish it, I don't know, do I? There's no help groups or anything that you can ask or whatever. You just have to find these things out yourself, which is the best way. Because you can become a burden, can't you? I'd rather just come here and learn myself. Um, a bit like my mullet fishing, I'm looking forward to that this year. I'm going to buy ten pound of maggots. Let's get this rip. Am I in shot? Of course I'm in shot. Of course you're bloody in shot. You're always in shot. Right, let's get this. That feels some weight on that. Could be a tie. That's up. Perhaps that was in the side and stuck in the mud. I don't feel like I've got anything on it, I'll tell you that now. Now. Nah. Too light. Or is it? Have I got a fish? No. Whoa! That's a new thing. Thought that was a shadow behind me then. Put the willies up me, I'll tell you. 
I've lost the bait off the top hook, so that's a good thing, isn't it? We've actually lost some bait. Right, I'm gonna get some squid on this and chuck it straight out. That one swung round to the right a tiny bit. So we'll just see what happens. I'll bring it back in a minute when I bait it up. Let's get this cast today. So we'll see where this one's. That one's over there. I could cast out to the right of that, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast to the left. I'm going to cast straight out actually. Right, well, that's bouncing, isn't it? Why is that? Oh, you know what I've gone and done, don't you? They're still apart, the lines, but one may go over the other or under uh, I don't know which I hope they don't I did they're both them are probably at the same distance whereas I've had one over there and one over there and oh balls never mind it's what it is isn't it but I'll sit and watch these I'm gonna watch them like an orc if that gets any closer to that other line I'm gonna reel it in and bring it in because I don't want to have any, uh, any, uh, can't be having any hassle tonight. If I go home and it's a blank, it's a, it was meant to be. I'll give it a try. I've given the mark two good goes on big tides. Um, maybe another day, another tide, another month might be totally different. We'll have to wait and see because there will be a return match here. Um, and then I've got another place I'm going to try as well. I think that line's just gone under. Well, they're way apart, they're like this now. I've just moved one rod under the other, or over, and uh, yeah, hopefully I've got away with that. But yeah, I must admit, it's very quiet. All I know is my mate ain't caught anything in Bay 16 and his mates had a white and in 17. I haven't heard any more. This van's filling up with flies, it's gonna be a nightmare. It's lovely trying to catch. It is the enjoyment. I mean, when you catch often, it can get a bit boring. So you do need those days where you blank to make the catching more enjoyable. So I'll see you in a bit when I reel these in. 
Right, I'm going to reel this rod that I've just casted out back. I'm going to reel it um, in again because one, I want to see what the bait's like, and it's swinging right to the right, and I don't like it. So. Get some new bait on there. It's all about bait as well, bait prison. That, that, that's been out five minutes that has. That's better. Now that last bait I put on was all right, but once I brought it in, the squid body that was doubled over, it was only a baby Indian squid, doubled over. It was uh, all down at the bottom of the hook in a great big lump. And the black lug and squid that I whipped up and cut, obviously the elastic then undid. I should have put some more elastic around it. So that weren't good either. So they were still capable of catching fish, but the top fish would have had to have a big mouth. Now I'm gonna chuck this out again, but I ain't gonna chuck it so far because Spolt said to me, cast one short. So that's what I'm now gonna do right now, is this one's going short. Right, well, that's out short. I'm happier with the bait. Uh, I was quite pleased I reeled that one within five minutes, if not quicker, just to check what the bait was like from the cast, the impact of the cast. And uh, yeah, so I've now cut a str two strips of squid, thread it onto the 
hook better pulled it up over the knot to hold it in place and it's out and it's short let's see what's out there we've got one out mid distance and one short so well, I've tried different baits I've tried cocktailer baits we're now trying squid on its own out short we'll see what happens with that we've been out long we've been in the channel I'm certainly giving it a go with the limited knowledge I've got yes I could keep reeling in every 10 minutes but I'm here to fish and enjoy myself and uh, doing what I'm doing is enough I think and the time is sit rep on time well obviously it ain't enough because ain't caught ever we're now an hour past high water you got to remember there's a bit of slack water in that as well so probably got another 15 minutes before it is an hour um, and then I've probably got 30 40 minutes 45 minutes I know where I need to pull in from the height of the water just give it a go you can't do anything but keep fishing until you can't fish hopefully we'll catch some but if not we've had a nice night there's been a little bit of rain but nothing nothing major it's been uh, it's been a good night really oh, I'm trying to find stuff here let's oh, put the torch on in I'll put it in there, Right. I need to go see Mike. I still haven't got to Mike yet. I was planning on it last Saturday, but I was so ill. Um, I didn't get there. And did I... Yeah, I did. As I felt bat better in the late afternoon, but then it came back Sunday night, and all day Sunday I went well. Um, I'm better now, but I phoned Mike up, and uh, he said, "Well, it's no good coming round, Vern. I'm now off out." So I said, "I can't come round, mate. I'm on on the sofa ill." Now then, on that last cast also, it whipped all the way round. I must have cast it out further than the other rod because it went right round the other rod. And I had to swap the rods. You saw me swap them in the tripod. I reeled it in. And those reels, because they're six to one, they pick, they reel in so fast, it's unbelievable. I had the weight skidding along the top of the water. They reel in that quick. So if you've got a fish on, you have to slow down. If you can feel weight on, you've got a fish on. You need to slow down a bit because you don't want to reel them in at 200 mile now. But those reels are fantastic for getting your weight up. Unless you've got 10 ton of weed on. And then no reel gets it up and you just drag it all the way along the bottom until the dreaded happens and you snag up. Or pull your line in, like I did at the Humber. Getting all my lines tangled up and cursing. It's been quite a nice night tonight. It hasn't been, uh, I ain't lost it at all ever. It's been an okay night. These flipping flies are buzzing about. My van will be full. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so I've got to see Mike. I'll go during the week, but I have to work during the week at the minute. I'll be bloody glad when these houses are done. Um, otherwise, I'd have seen Mike by now. Because if I get a day off during the week, I want to go fishing. So poor old Mike eats getting pushed at the back of the queue, bless him. Try and see him this weekend. That's if I ain't ill. 
great in it you work all week and then the weekend you're ill and then you work all week and the next week you're on holiday like the wife and then she's ill it's sod's law isn't it all the time sod's law that's one law that don't ever change in it sod's law oh, and i'll tell you something else every 30 mile now zone i drive through now yeah every 30 mile now zone i drive through now all i do is sit and watch my clock all the time so you end up you're not looking ahead of you well you are but you're not observantly driving like you should do because you're clock watching your speedo all the time and back in the 80s and 90s when i drove uh, you didn't have to do that because there was no speed cameras about it was like a normal life of happiness where you could drive and the only thing you had to look out for was a jam sandwich and if they saw you they'd collar you because they were all over suddenly cameras come out and then there's not so many jam sandwiches about trying to nick you and breathalyze you and do you for speeding so you become lapsadaisical don't you but then you then got a clock watch all the time because you're watching all the time because there could be a speed camera van around the corner or you're driving through a camera. So you're on the speed all the time. Surely that's not safe. And it's all right you saying, well, just drive under the speed limit. Well, I do drive under the speed limit, but as you drive under the speed limit, I was driving at 25 for a 30 today, like I normally do, but I was doing it definitely today. And suddenly I start looking around at my surroundings, being an observant driver, diligent, with decorum, I would say. And suddenly I was at 28 mile now. Now, it don't take much more looking around, being observant for kids and whatever, that may run across the road or a small dog or cat, yeah? Or even a car on the wrong side of the road. Or some twat that just slows down at every corner and drives at 10 mile an hour under speed limit and then hogs the middle lane in his silver Mercedes all the way here until I go past him because he was doing me heading. But what I'm saying is it don't take much more for that to go up to 30 and then you're over the speed limit and then bang, camera. And that's how easy it is. So I suppose we're in an era of clock watching and that's the speedo clock so yeah what else can i say that's all i want to say really what was all that about i don't know what all that was about i'm just trying to fill in time because like nothing's happening on the road so what do i do if i was there on me out and i'd be on the phone to the wife well i've been on to the phone to the wife tonight or i've spoke to brett tonight i've spoke to andrew jones tonight um i've spoke to john spolton tonight so that's four phone calls I've had tonight. I expect Brett's was over an hour. I think Andrew's was like 30 minutes. Wife was two. <laughs> that was a bit longer than that. I actually had a good conversation with the wife tonight. Brought up back the sandwiches and she said what she was doing. She must be feeling a bit better because she's actually talking to me. Sometimes I quite like it when she's ill because she don't do much talking. But then you miss it, don't you? Because you like I like to have a chat. Oh, what was I saying earlier? Thank you to all the subscribers, old and new. Those that comment, those that don't. It um Yeah, it's it's all good. I appreciate all of it. And it's all good for the cat. It's all good for the channel. Um, it's good for me because obviously I like having a chat, as you know. I'm rattling on now, isn't I? Um, and those that aren't subscribed and watch the videos, thank, thank you for doing that as well because it all helps the algorithm, helps me out. I don't want to go on about, about this, but, you know, like I said earlier, if I've got something to say, then I'm going to say it. If other people want to interpret it as though, uh, <laughs> woe is me or whatever, then that's up to you. Carry on with your sad life. Don't ever feel the need to come over to talk to me, that's what I'll say. But all you out there that talk to me or like the channel, 
you come up to me whenever you like. It's, it's appreciated. I think I've got 26 more to go. I think it'll be about March time. Which will be good, really, because that'll tie in. It's been a hard year this year. But, eh, uh, organic channel, that's me. I'm not organic myself, but my channel is organic. Um, I don't care where my veg come from. As long as it's out of Lidl's cheap six section, because it's normally 15p. My ladder keeps moving with the wind. I hope it ain't going... I ain't bungee corded it, so I hope it don't blow over. Or else I've got to buy another ladder. And then there'll be a ladder floating down the river. That'll upset Greta, won't it? Well, I'm sat here on a river bank, not cold. I'm dressed for it though. I'm wondering what those weffy wankers are doing right this very minute with their billions of pounds trying to change my life from not fishing on this warm night at this river and just generally trying to change everything in society through whatever means they can. One day, everyone will wake up to it and it'll probably be too late, but at least they'll wake up to it. Got it made, really, haven't they? Because they've even got an organisation in Europe called a union. And whatever they want to project across to everyone else, it tends to go through them and get sanctioned and then that's, that's it. we then got to follow that thing, don't we? People will soon wake up to that as well. I still don't alter the fact my rods aren't flipping moving, are they? It's like watching paint dry, and I watch that. I watch that all bloody day, especially today. Yeah, I'm at another coffee. Don't get much more excited than that. I've got another chicken sandwich, but I might eat that on the way home. And then I've got another chicken sandwich that I can take to work tomorrow, and she's made me a cheese and cucumber sandwich, which I could take the next day. So that, that'll free her up from making sandwiches because I only ever ask for one or if I go fishing I ask for two because I might eat one sandwich while I'm fishing and eat one on the way home. God, you, all I want is a good tap on that rod. I've done plenty of fishing now. Just for the record, for the record, I've done plenty of fishing now. I've had a nice time fishing. What I could do with right now is a bit of catching. So I think that's what's on the that's what's on the uh, menu at the minute. A bit of catching. Oh, that put the willies up me. I'll tell you. I thought we could hear some up. And then I heard the footsteps, and I, I, I the hairs on my back stood up. I'm not saying I'm like a gorilla with hairs on my back, but we're all got them. I'm more like one of them bald cats. <laughs> still felt my hairs on my back go up I'm not used to fishing this far down the river up the other end you've got people in bays next to you and you can see people all the way along and you just sort of like feel you know part of the community whereas down there I just feel like Vern C fishing on YouTube <laughs> Oh dear. Is he walking back here or is he still walking away? Surely at this time of night 
you won't be walking back he can't be walking back because I'd see his face wouldn't I seemed to have stopped then <sighs> come on fish Tug it like you want it. Tug it like you want it. Go on. Tug, tug, tug. All right, I'll bring you back in a bit. Can't let you have as much excitement as this. I'll tell you that now. All right, let's get this world real done. One more cast, I think. One more cast. Get this squid on. That'll work out quite nicely, won't it? squid on differently, thread it on the hook differently, and I think the top one will be better, but I think the bottom will be just as good, we'll see, that don't make sense does it, but then you're used to my talk aren't you, right, sorry about my torchlight, but I just need to get this out, tide is going quickly, I've probably got 20 minutes, so we'll get a cast out, it's going to go to the right in the gully, got weed on the line you know what happens there don't you right I need to be over in that direction there. put the rod down let it settle let that weight settle down to the riverbed um, Last time I reeled it in, you saw it, and I had to swap the rods over because I reeled it in too far and it just went. That's what happened there. Let these rods settle. They're settled now. Let's take the slack up. And there you have it. I would say, well, I've probably got three foot of water in front of my feet. Over here, I have still got water in the bay. So I'm still doing all right. I can put these worms now in my bait box. 
Get them in there. What we've got here? Squid head, don't want that. Squid and black lug. That water is now clear. All the sediment has dropped out us at the bottom. Right, I'm gonna put another battery in this camera because it's on yellow and uh, I shall see you when I reel these in. It's these two casts are my last chance of catching a fish. If this doesn't happen, it's another blank. All right, let's bring in this far rod. Um, oh dear. Water's going down. I've probably got another, I think half an hour, but I'm gonna watch it like a hawk, bring this rod in. If I haven't caught by now, then I'm not gonna catch Emma. I know you can catch up to the last second, but I've got to also think about return fish. Now I've still got enough water in front of me to do that and it takes me a lot longer to get over the wall to return a fish it's too far to chuck it now so i'm going to bring that in hopefully we've got a fish on it if we ain't we ain't are we you know you can only you can only try and it's about fish care as well i don't particularly want a um fish to the last minute and i've got mud nearly showing and it's hard work to return the fish because that fish might not swim off and the tide might leave it behind. I'm just an old whoosh, that's all. There's nothing on this. I'll tell you what, that water's going because that didn't take two seconds to get it up. So I've done right there. So the time is now for a learning curve. Um, time is 22.37. Time is 22.37. So it's high water at about five past nine, so say nine o'clock, so it's hour and a half, nearly an hour and 40 minutes, which is about right. So I'll get this one put away and uh, just keep an eye on the other rod and then I'll have to bring it in. It is getting shallow. What will happen is that water will go down. If there's any flatfish there, they should be gone. But there might be, a, I mean, they can always go in the channel, can't they? But are fish that clever? Well, the bait was still on exactly how I put it on the hook, so I baited that up all right. It really does matter, and it does, it, it really is imperative that you, you bait up well. So you cut your bait the right size, um, get it on the hooks properly, and make it as neat as possible to give yourself a best chance to catch. Now, I know I haven't caught tonight, but it's not through anything that I've done apart from pick the wrong spot but then i haven't picked this spot to fish here to because i'm sure there's better places like i could have gone on the old miss coast couldn't i fished off the beach ca carried all my gear in the cold but well, in cold is it muddy cliff tops though isn't there so you know what i mean there is better places to go but I want to fish air again. I want to give it a go and see what happens. I'm afraid it hasn't materialized, has it? But it's not through the want of trying.
And the good thing is, I've turned up at a reasonable time before the, sh before the shift started, and I actually get to go home as well earlier. So it's not so bad. I had some fishing, got it out of my system. I've certainly tried this mark for a second time. I didn't think I was going to get to do it. And if that was the case, um, if that was the case, I was going to be not disappointed, but it was, I wanted to try it twice this week and I've done it. That's, that was the main thing, to do it twice. And I've done that. Probably been a 20 pound cod caught down there. I shall try it again next month because uh, I want to see if there is anything. By the time this video come out, I spent off get loads of comments saying there's nothing there. You're wasting time. Right, this torch here, I don't know if you can see this, but this is the Army Tech torch on turbo power. Now that's all lit up, isn't it? I think that torch is unbelievable. Now, there has been some people that have done reviews on this torch and uh, I didn't really get the settings right on the torch and it wasn't a good review. Um, I did comment on there and say to them that there was loads of other settings, but if you don't think this is bright enough for fishing, around on the beach rock marks or whatever you might not have a spotlight that goes out 56 well i can still see 50 odd yards away 60 70 80 yards away but um for for lighting up this whole area here as you can see is unbelievable i think um and it's a cracking torch but the one thing with this army tech torch is, let me turn that down a minute. One thing with it, one thing, one thing with this army tech torch is, there's a lot of settings to learn. And that's the only thing, but it's German, isn't it? What do you expect? It's always over technical, isn't it? But it's a great torch. Um, I hope the people that did the, the um, review go back to it and do it again, because it doesn't, you know, <laughs> If there's more settings there to do, I, f I think they'd be quite impressed with it, more than they uh, more than they were. So I hope they look back at it. I hope they actually look at it and do it again. So I'm only a small channel doing a light sort of thing, but other channels that are bigger, you know, if they can uh, help the company out. Anyhow, what I'm saying is, the torch. I'm really happy with it because I still use it. Whether you go buy one, that's up to you. But I've. I've seen, I've been told that you can get it for 75 quid on some websites, the uh, Wizard C2 Pro, but it is what it is, isn't it? You get what you want. I'm only telling you that I still use this torch because I think it's fantastic. Right, let's get this in because if I don't get this in, I must have about two foot of water there and that's it. Water there. I'm in the channel, so there's a lot more water there now. I'm on the top. I ain't got any fish on there. Well, I don't think I have. I might have.
Now, this is what it was. A bit of plastic. So I could see that flashing away on top of the water. And uh, yeah, a bit of plastic, Greta. So I thought that was a underbelly of a flounder. <laughs> I was getting excited. But yeah, now it's a blank. Same as uh, Monday night. Tonight is Wednesday the 13th, 14th. It is Valentine's night. And old Valentine ain't been nice to me, has he? I said to the missus this morning, I don't know if I mentioned this, I said, happy Valentine's Day by text, because as I got up, as I left the house, she was getting up. And, uh, oh, I keep getting the willies. I keep getting the willies, I tell you. That lad that just walked past, that I put you in the van, because I didn't know who they were, I don't want to lose the camera. He, uh, he's having a bit of a dispute with his partner. Anyhow. Probably best to go see your partner, wouldn't it, and have a chat with them. But life is hard as you grow up, isn't it? And then you get to 55 and it just becomes impossible with your body. But yeah, I thought that was a flounder because this weight shines up anyhow. And it's quite big and flat because it's a fin weight, look. So you get that and plastic. But the squid's still on. There is new crabs. I'll put this plastic in my bait box. Go in the bin then when I get them. Right. So this is it. Check the filming. I've got to do the uh, out, outward thing and it's nothing but not there. Right, so this has been sea fishing on the River Humber in between Bay 12 and Bay 10. And it's been most enjoyable. It has been a fishing session of success because I've been fishing. Catching wise, been a little bit of a disaster. But that's fishing, nothing you can do about it. But I did come out here primarily to have a fishing trip and enjoy myself at this new mark that I'm testing out which has been a failure up to now now another tide it may be better but this tide weren't any better than the last tide so it will be in a few weeks time i come back here again i shall fish here again next time and then i'm going to try somewhere else um i can't try somewhere else first because then i might catch air but if i blank air again i'm trying somewhere else and then i might come here summertime when the nights pull out and see if there's any bass about the water is clearer down there, so it's possible that there's a good chance of it. Anyhow, thank you for watching. I hope that you subscribe. Uh, I hope if you've watched this, you keep subscribed and uh, drop us a comment because the comments and the thumbs up is helps the algorithm. So bang it all with thumbs up. There's plenty of you out there, even the 63% that aren't subscribed. I love you all. It's a, I don't love you all. That's a load of crap in it. That's like, you know. That ain't me, is it? Why did I say that? What I want to say is that I'm going. Thank you all subscribers. Don't, if you do click the thumbs up, yeah, and I get, oh, I don't know, over 300, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens to my algorithm. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just saying it don't cost anything to do it. So, thanks for watching this. It's been another blank. I apologize for that. Um, Thank you to all the members as well. That's what I meant to say earlier when I was talking. Such a waffle idiot, aren't I? Rattling on about this, that and the other. So yeah, thanks to all the members also. It's uh, appreciated. It helps with Phil to bring these videos. So thank you very much. Um, next time you see me, it'll probably be on this river. If it's a good sunny day and warm day and the nights are pulling out, I might do a session on the beach if the tides are right because we're now coming down to smaller tides. I could do that again. If not, it will be the river. I'm going to keep banging videos in because then if anything goes wrong because we'll get snow in March and April and then I won't be out. So with no further ado, I'll see you in on. I don't say with further ado, do I? Tom, cut that with further ado out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in on.
tug it like you want it 